A key component of the Community Foundation's mission and strategy is what we call inclusive philanthropy. And what that means is bringing groups of donors into causes and project areas that matter specifically to them for specific reasons and helping them contribute to creating the change that they want to see in the community. A primary way that we do that is with an effort that we call our affinity funds. And these are groups of funds, again, centered around very specific interests. Young Erie Philanthropists is one of those, and their specific interest for this particular group is about uh, economic development, well-being, creating a community where young families want to stay and thrive. I was attracted to working with Young Erie Philanthropists because it's new ideas and new faces tackling some of the most pressing issues in our community. One of the things that I think sets Young Erie Philanthropists apart as an organization that you can commit your time and energy and resources to is our commitment to moving the needle right now. A lot of times people look at us and kind of assume since we're younger this is a preparation, this is looking towards the future, this is some sort of career development that we're taking on for the long run. But really, when we work together, we're making a difference, we're making an impact in the community today. I mean, talk to Mother Teresa Academy, talk to ECAD about the construction trades, talk to Erie Arts and Culture and the murals. I mean, you can walk around this city and see the impact that this group is having. And it is so exciting to me. Our goal is to prepare Erie natives you know, for the modern world so that they can be prepared to come right back here and stay in the workforce right here in Erie. The students continually ask, like, what else can we do? How can we push this farther? To the point where, you know, we had two students ask, hey, can I do a 3D model of this building and the old St. Peter's Cathedral School building? And they're in their iPads actually creating the models and then they start actually printing it on the 3D printers. It's, it's amazing to see that whole process move forward. Um, and really that's all possible because of the Young Area Philanthropists. So we applied to the Young Area Philanthropists to support our Construction Trades training program. And that was a program that had already been running um, up at Erie High. We do it in the uh, construction lab. And that program was going really well, but it needed to expand. And so we were able to use the one-year funding from the Young Area Philanthropists to boost that year. We graduated 10 students from that program, which doesn't seem like a whole lot, except all of those students went on to become employed in the construction industry. This year, in advertising for it, because we have that license, we've received 60 applications for that program. We only have 15 seats. This year really allowed us to grow, to kind of build the capacity we needed, so now we can even and serve more students. Members really have the chance to be a part of $40,000, $50,000, or even more in annual grant making uh, to push lives forward in this community. It's an incredible value and it's an incredible opportunity. I'm telling you what, come to a Young Area Philanthropist meeting, sit there for 20 minutes and listen to the plans that this group has, listen to the excitement they have, and, f and the, op the optimism for what is possible. You don't have to have a million dollars to be a philanthropist. We can all be philanthropists. And you know, the root of that word is just about, about love. And so all it really means is that you're showing love and care for others that might not be directly related to you or connected to you in some way, but that you have concern and you want to offer what you can to support them. No matter who you are, if you're a young person or if you're a business owner later in their career, there's really a role for you or a place for you to connect with Young Area Philanthropists, whether it's as a member or as a sponsor or an advisor, maybe even as an applicant if you run a nonprofit. Connect with us, reach out to the Erie Community Foundation for more information on how.